Hello everyone, this video is about the first step. So the reason I make this video because um, every time I give you guys some assignment, I always including the steps. See, that's the first step for this landscape. This is the first step for this cartoon drawing. And here is the first step for poetry. Here is the first step for a figure sketching. So I give you guys the steps and most of the time you just you guys can follow it and copy it. But I realized like if I gave you a picture or you find a picture and you still don't know where to start. It's very frustrating me, so that's why I decided to make this video, okay? It's a very, very important step. And for example, I have a student give me this, that's her homework. She wants to draw a um, Chinese map. That's what she did, right? Then, I said, okay, that's the whole shape. The whole shape is not right. Even she had lots of details on the map, right? But the whole entire shape is kind of off. The reason is probably when she drawing it, she just start to looking at the zigzag parts. Okay, here's a zigzag, here's a zigzag, here's a zigzag. All the details, right? Then after finished and lost the whole shape. So if she has the first step right, then she won't lost the shape. So what the first step is, is you think about a overall shape, draw an overall shape of this map, right? That's the overall shape of this map. So when, when you draw it right here, you can, um, let's see, make one more layer. You can draw this, okay, so that's the overall shape. That's the overall shape of this map, Chinese map. Okay, that's too wide. I'm shrinking it down. Goes to here. Right? That's kind of like an overall shape of it. After you have the overall shape, then you can um, try to change a color. Um, so then you can um, have a blue one. Okay, here we go. Then you can zigzag inside. Okay, like here the goes, there it goes here, goes here, then you zigzag. You know, it's you can draw out of the um, uh, outline or you can make it inside, but overall that's the shape. Right. Okay, now if you close the first red, that looks more like that, right? The overall shape. So that's why the first step is so important. And this this um, um building too. So if if you have the overall shape of it. This is the line you should concentrate on, right? That's the perspective. If you get this right, say that's where the start, that's about like that far, the angle, right? Then this one's like this way. That's the line, then this is the line. Oh, actually it's a little bit tilted this way. Now, this is, this is actually right, then that line goes start from here, right? So now, if you have this, you know, simple line 
map it out before you do all the details. Then after the details, it's easy to put it in, right? Just according to that, put it in. So it's so important, but the reason is difficult. Just because normally we do not looking at things like this, right? We we looking at things and just um okay, like we focus on the detail because we we don't need to looking at the the simple form when we normally looking at things, right? If we're looking at the chair, we just needed to recognize the chair, right? Or a tree, we just recognize the tree. We don't need to care about, okay, what's the overall shape of the tree? We don't focus on that. But when you're drawing and you have to switch the artist mode, right? Your brain switch. Then first step, first thing first. And the... A uh, lots of times I tell you guys to squinting your guy squinting your eyes to look at things, so you can ignore the detail. The detail is too attractive. So if you squinting your eyes, you can ignore the detail. Um. So now I'm going to show you, and some pictures like how you where you're going to look just some examples and how we going to do this first step okay so first step we solving composition proportion and relationship between each objects right so compos composition I already told you guys lots of times you don't care about composition right you you draw something like like this then it's like super small or too big out of the page so when i looking at the picture i'm going to simplify the form okay so this vase going to just be this flower just going to be like that that's the flower lemon right that's flower right branch that's how i simplify this form so when I put on my paper, if I want exactly this composition, right? I'm going to see this vase is about this part. See how light I sketched. This is so important. How far I hold the pencil. Because this is only about so the, what I'm talking about, the relationship. All the relationship. After I place the the um, vase and I'm drawing the flower, I'm looking at the vase, right? I'm drawing this flower and looking at the vase and the flower. It's about this much from the vase. It's about that high from this flower. Then this flower is about here. See, I'm looking this way. I have another video, right, with that invisible gray. That one, you know, if you miss, you should look that one and you'll see where my eyes going, right? Think that's too close. So, see, so important place is right here. About that far, that low, and the... Um, Lemon too. Okay, here. It's just this simple, but so important. Okay, it's so important to the first step. It, if you don't do the first step right, then after you start with detail, uh, some flower be here, some be here, you know, you, you drew everything, you draw everything correct, but when you put together, they'll be all over the place, okay? So the first step, solve the composition and the relationship and proportion, okay? So with landscape, 
With landscape, I always try to find out the horizon first so I can divide what's the top, what's the bottom. Then this this is a line I'm focused on. That's it. See, that's it. Simple, right? So this is a little bit a little bit on the center, but a little bit up in the center, I think. Horizon, right? And this goes to like here, right? Goes to here. Then that that tree like right here make a triangle so that's the you know negative spot then this the other uh, mountain in the back and this the back it's from here to here right so that's another back coming from here to here that's it first step so simple looks but somehow it's so hard for you guys okay now it's a little bit harder no but after you figure out the first step, won't be that hard. I'm going to find a little different color so you can see better. Okay, lemon yellow. Uh, not really. Okay, back to the pink. Um, make big. Okay, here. This is a this is a line. I'm simplify is. Okay, simplify it. The angle, so important to the angle, right? See the angle, angle, angle. Don't think about you drawing a person, just looking at the angle. That's it. Okay, all the relationship. How, see how I do it. This composition is not good because the arm is kind of off, so I'm going to put it a little smaller. Try to make the guy uh, inside the the paper more. Okay, here we go. And when I draw in the body, I'm looking at is away from the face that much. Okay, here we go. Mm. Angle, right? And here's a leg. Angle, this most like straight. And I'm looking up the head. Hand is like meets the hand. Then feet. Very simple form, but my eye is all over the place. Just let you know. Try to uh, figure out like where's where the ends, right? If, if you have that, if you don't didn't watch that uh, another video, you should wa watch. It's called uh, the uh, Invisible Grade. Okay, here that's the point meets the head. See. Okay, that's like so important. Everything, the relationship, then you can make it right. Okay, I made a big, huge mistake. I think this girl's arm is going to be off the page. That's sad. Okay, um, uh, um, this called what? It's called a negative space. It has to be right, right? That's that's a shape. The whole thing is a shape. I'm concentrate on that too. If if this shape right, that means the relationship between these two is right. Okay. Uh, but this might have to. No, I don't want to redo it. But yeah, don't make the same mistake as me. See, the girl's arm is out the page. If I have time, I'm definitely going to redo it. Right but I don't have much time, so that's it. And, okay, another thing, a reason, oh, that's slanted too much. Another reason this is so important, the first step, see, I'm so quickly use the simple line to drawing those shapes, right? So if I make a mistake like this, I can erase it, redo it, right? But, if you finish this guy, everything is done, right? Then you draw the girl, everything is done. And when you draw here, you say, oh my God, the arm is out. I don't want to erase it because I already took me like half hour or an hour to finish all this. Um, I don't want to erase it. So, but with the simple lines, because I only took what, like 
three minutes. So I'm like, okay, it's not right. Let me move. You know, I might take another three minutes. Then I can make the this guy smaller. And then this girl won't be in the page, right? Okay, and another one, elephant, elephant. Okay, here we go. That's the simplified form. Lots of times I like to use the simplified form with more straight lines, but not literally straight, right? Because straight lines, you can ignore the exact stuff, zigzag lines. So you can, you know, simplify the form more. Okay, here, I think the head is right here. And this ear, it's another ear. So, um, this goes from here, that's a leg, it's another leg. See, that's what I do for the first step. Then this relationship, see, this, this little guy's head is right here and meets here, right? That's what I'm focused on the my eye you know the red line is where my eye looking at so yeah basic shape basic simple form super basic but oh see that's a negative negative shape why it was wrong so when you're drawing things oh it's a little long you kind of have to solve problems think more creative way to solve problems right like you felt like oh something's wrong but i don't know what's wrong with it then you have to be more creative look different ways, different angles, you know? If if it's wrong, let me think, let me look at about the, um, the angle, okay? Is that angle wrong? Or like, let me look at about the negative space. Is the negative space, the shape looks wrong? You know, all those ways for you to figure out and, what's wrong with it, right? Different ways I have to, you know, use different ways, different angles looking at things. That's very um, important in art. So it's like more creative. See, I put the no nose to here because if I looking at this line here, the nose kind of only a little bit touched this leg, right? I was going in too much. See, that's the, how this thing is, the negative space, it kind of look like that. Okay, now, this um, teapot, teapot, okay? Um, so here is my, this way is like the relationship between all the tea, all the teapot and the teacup, so. Um, if I have the exactly, uh, doing the exactly, um, composition, it looks like this. So I see the, the where the meets. It's kind of like the exact composition. See how, like, light I'm sketching, right? So I can erase it easily erase it um then here the teapot is kind of right here i look at that distance over there but my paper might not like same size of this that's about here it's about here right it's oval or oval then round and this this next to this relationships and proportion okay 
and how big the teapot was this this teacup the proportion the relationship and the proportion that's what you're doing first mm, and then the distance right And stuff over there. Okay. Uh, teapot. Now, see, I give you so many examples. So I hope you can do good. So this, this thing is a, <clears throat> is a square. So what I like this one is like all those heads, the relationship between all the heads. Okay. That's what I look, looking at. The, I told you the right line here is what I'm looking at. So, yeah. Um, how I simplify it. So I'm not going to put the head here. Then this head is going to be out, right? So here, that's come from that part, right? So like that. And this, maybe head needs to be a little bigger. Now, the smaller head is about that way from the Big head, this guy, the proportion of compare, right? Like how big and small you're going to draw this. So you're looking at this, you'll get it. And this guy is on top of it right here. Okay, now kind of get the, the body is that much from the face. Okay, it's kind of rocks in here. It's a tail. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, that's the first step. First step. Looks easy, but it's kind of hard because you guys didn't do it. Every time there's a problem with the first step, every time you start to start doing an error and a face, it's like you always do that no matter how many times I tell you, okay, first step, but you just don't know where to look. Here's the first step. That's the first step I'm looking at. Okay, then I want to make the composition right, so I don't draw a giant bear there, right? So the, I'm looking at the distance and the size. Here's my first step. The proportion. Angles, right? Kind of a little bit slanted here. Relationship between this two angles more so the head can be more here this way, right? And this head, okay. Now, this head lower body, another hand need to be a little bit way more away from that one. That's it. It's so cute. And in this, in this, see, I can move, right? Because it's just a couple lines. You can move if you're not right any time. If it's too close, see, uh, right here, then that's the bank. That's the where to go through the body. That's the back. Okay, so that's the first step. Composition, proportion, and relationship. Right? That's what you solve in this. Okay, last one. On the square. Okay, now the girl, if it is square, probably like right here, right? So you map out the window. This is from here. 
here. So. Then the girl, here is angle, angle, head, angle, angle. That's it, okay? That's just that simple. But when you draw the head, look at the where it meets the square. It's kind of start from the middle, right? And how far from there? So it's about here. And maybe here. So you try it. it goes right here. The distance between the hand and the um, the 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 hand the head, and how far the feet reach, is right here. And if is something wrong, just fixing it. Okay, so I'm going to get this so you can see how I finish this. So here's the head, right? And it's two. Kind of like this. Make two space, right? Okay, I have this, the overall shape, right? Now I can go into it. The face is a little bit this way. So now I'm doing a little bit detail. But the overall shape is there. So making a cup between the face. This cup actually. I think her face needs to be a little bit over here actually can't tell the arm that much because it's so dark here Is away. Okay, this is just the, I guess, the second step. The pot, something wrong with it. I may have to move the window because That's the second step, so we can go more detail. Just let you know how to place these things, okay? Now, um, I, I showed you how to simplify, okay? First of all, you have to know where to look before you can simplify it, right? So I'm making all those lines to let you know where I look, right? Um, that's the shape 
and where I look with the right uh, line. So you simplify it during the holidays. Um, I want you guys to do some uh, drawing for just first step. Okay, not this, not that detail. Just first step, very simple one like this. And with you, picture. So you find a picture and then you draw the first step, you know. See how how much take me like, okay, like a minute, right? Finish one in a minute. So I think you can do some, have you have some time to do, have a minute to do some work. So um, please uh, draw it, then send to me with your original picture and your drawing. Then I'm going to critique each picture. If you send me, I'm going to critique. It don't lose this opportunity because that's how you learn by practice and listen to my critique. Then you learn a lot. Then I hope after this process, after this practice, and all of you know how to do the first step. So don't frustrate me like, where's your first step again, okay? Okay, have fun.